Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable the fixed rate shipping option in Magento 2. And the good news, Dave, this is just as easy as many other things in Magento. And also, before we jump across to our desktop and show you how to set this up, it's also worth noting that you can use fixed rate shipping with other shipping methods within your Magento site. So for example, Dave, a few seconds ago, we just finished recording the free shipping option within our Magento system, is that you can have fixed rate shipping and free shipping options going on at the same time if you wish. And I'll point that out for you when we get there in a few moments. With that said, let's jump across to our desktop. This is dead simple to set up, so follow us along in your system. So Dave, we've come across to our Magento admin area. Setting this up, dead simple to do. So we'll wanna go down to stores, and then underneath the settings menu, click on configuration. Now Dave, just like the rest of our tutorials, we are assuming that you've only got one Magento site set up with a single store view. It is worth pointing out that Magento does allow you to set up different shipping options on different stores, but for this tutorial, we're just keeping it simple. We're just gonna show you how to set this up for a single store. If you did wanna set this up for multiple stores, you'll want the drop down box up here and you can set different shipping options for different Magento 2 websites. So with that said, Dave, we need to scroll down and the section which we're after is underneath cells on the left-hand menu. So let's expand that out and then click on shipping methods from the left hand menu. Now Dave, we've got free shipping expanded, so let's go and minimize that. And then on the right hand side for flat rate, that's minimized at the moment. So let's click on the arrow. And then Dave, can you see we've got lots of different options in here? Yeah, we have loads of different options. So the first thing you should want to do is enable it. So if your enabled is set to no, you'll want to change that to yes. Now the title, this is the title which your customer sees. So flat rate really doesn't kind of make sense to your Joe Public customer really, does it Dave? No, not at all. Something like standard shipping would make more sense or standard postage, something like that? Yeah, that would be much clearer. So change the title and just be aware that's the title which your customer sees during the checkout. So change that or word that as you see fit. The method name is the internal name, so we would suggest leaving that as fixed. Now, Dave, this is one setting which is very easily overlooked, but it's very, very important. If we added an item or maybe three items to our shopping cart right now, as a customer with these settings, we would be charged £15 or $15, whatever the currency setting is because the type has been set to per item. Now really, that's not the norm. Instead, you'll want to click on this one and then choose per order. So now we'll be charged five pounds or five dollars for the whole order. Okay, so I'm actually gonna change that to 4.99. Now, if you do wanna set up handling fees, you can either have that as fixed or as a percentage and you would enter the value in there. Also, Dave, you can also set up the shipping method to only be available to specific countries. If that's something which you desire, then drop down this box and then choose specific countries. Now, as you may have guessed by the accents, both myself and Dave are based in the United Kingdom. So I'm gonna scroll this down and then choose United Kingdom. So let's go and click on here. Now this shipping method for $4.99 is only gonna be available to customers who have been and set their delivery country as the United Kingdom. Also, it's worth pointing out, just to such a daft one, Dave, show method if not applicable, then both myself and Dave would suggest leaving that as no. Because the worst thing is, is seeing a whole big raft of different shipping options within your checkout, and none of them can be selected by your customer. They'll think that your website's broken or something like that. So where it says show method if not applicable, change that or leave that as no. But in our case, we're gonna drop that back and choose all allowed countries. Oh, Dave, before we just wrap up, it's also worth pointing out the sort order. So for example, we've got flat rate shipping, which we've just been set up here. I'm gonna set that as number five. And the reason why I'm gonna set this up in fives or maybe tens are easier, is because if we had free shipping set up as well, 
we may want the free shipping to appear above that so we can set that as five. Now the numbers which you can use are from zero, one, two, three, four, five. The lower the number, the higher it appears within the checkout. I believe that's correct. By the way, I'm not 100% sure, so do just quickly check that on your Magento website. It's very easy. Just add an item to your cart and go into your checkout and just check on the ordering. But the sort order, but you'll also notice that none of these I set zero. And the reason why I didn't set zero is because if we wanted to add another shipping method at a later date, we could force that shipping method to the very top by setting that as zero. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so the sort order is important, especially if you're using more than one shipping method. And of course, if you have made some changes within your configuration settings, don't forget to press save config at the top. Now, Dave, we will get a message at the top saying about cash management. Let's click on that link and clear out our caches. So on the left hand side, I'm going to choose select all and then click on submit. And a few seconds later, that will be updated and any changes which we made a few moments ago will then appear live on our Magento website. Nice and easy, Dave. Once again, Matt, nice and easy. Excellent. So from both myself and Dave, we hope that this video tutorial has been and helped you. And on that note, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.